when it comes to creating citations for research, we have been using EasyBib for the last few years. It's been our go-to citation generator, but we've also noticed some issues that have crept up recently, and they involve a few different things. One of our biggest issues we have is with the extensive number of ads that show up. Uh, because we do the free version, not the paid version, it takes a long time to load. You can see all these ads popping up, the distractions that go here. This is hard for students, and that's one of the biggest issues we have. The other one is with login. Um, I am currently logged into EasyBib, but we've been having a lot of issues with authenticating to our Google accounts where it just simply will not connect. It's forcing kids to change passwords and so on. So we've been on the hunt for an alternative to EasyBib, and we think we may have found it. It's called MyBib, and it's a much cleaner uh, platform. If you take a look at it, here is MyBib. You don't see any ads, which is one of the great features. You will notice that I am signed in here. It's very simple to sign in, so I'm going to just show you that process very quickly. You can sign in with a Google account. Um, I've been in before, so mine's already authenticated. But typically, you'll just get a pop-up and allow it to use your Google account when you're signed in. And you'll notice just some basic features that are here. You can create multiple projects. I already have a project here with a website and a book that I have created. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start a new project just to show you how simple it is. I'm going to call it Sample 2 and get started by adding some citations. So first things first, let's go ahead and add a website. So this is my blog. It's a book review that I recently wrote. I'm just going to grab the URL from that and paste it in. And you will notice it pops up with a recommended um, item here. So when I click on that, it's going to take me to the fields very similar to EasyBib where I can confirm or fix any issues I see. Now, one thing I have noticed is when uh, citing anything from Blogger, it tends to find the wrong date. So I happen to know that this date is actually December 11th of 2018, and it just found the ones. So I'm going to just quickly change that to December 11. It has the author, it has the title of the article, it has the name of the website, and also the URL and the date accessed. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And that shows up here as a website in Sample 2. So now I have one thing in there. I'm going to add another citation because oftentimes we use videos from YouTube. And so this is a video that I'm just going to go ahead and grab the URL here. Since it is a website, you're going to cite it simply as a website. And I'll show you why that works better. When you hit search, it finds it right here that it's in YouTube. When I click, it lets me go through and pick any of the different issues, and it did see that it was a video. So even though it's through a website, it does find what you need um, to add it. So I'm going to go ahead. I've confirmed all these things and hit save. You can add other things too, like books. So I'm just going to go ahead and randomly... look for a book, um, actually looking for Alaska by John Green. Um, now, the catch is if you know the UR or the ISBN of the book you want, the year 2005 publisher would be the one I'm looking for. Has the author, date published, title of the book, where it was published, and um, typically in a book, you don't need to do the date you reviewed it. So I'm going to hit save. And it has that listed right here in my project. Now, one of the nice things you can do, similar to what you could do on EasyBib, is export your bibliography. Right to Google Drive, since we're already signed into our Google Drive, it's going to link right to it and create a document for me. So if I jump over to my drive and just refresh, so I can look under my most recent, we will notice here that it's going to show me a doc that has the name of my project, which was sample two. I'm going to go ahead and open that so you can see what it looks like. The formatting is all taken care of. It has 
my work cited heading has everything alphabetized, double spaced, hanging indent, and so on. So I can go ahead and use this for my research, for my work cited page, or so on. So when it comes to it, my bib is just a lot cleaner. It's very simple to use, just like easy bib, but the login and everything seems to be working great. So we're recommending if it comes down to easy bib or my bib, try out my bib and see what you think.